Data connections are unique in Experience Builder because you can connect the same data source two different times and Experience Builder will consider each of those data connections as separate independent connections. Here you can see in my data panel, I have this wildfire snapshot 2021 to 2022. Let's say I want to add this same map to have access to the same layers and I wanna add this as another data connection because I am configuring some actions based on, on activity within a list that I want to be applied to one web map, but not to another source within that web map. So I'm gonna go ahead and come up to add data. And then I'm going to find my wildfire snapshot 2021 to 2022. I'm going to choose it and select done. Now you can see that I have two data source connections that are the exact same web map with the exact same layers. However, one has been configured in my application. You can see that from this related widgets infographic. I have one direct connection and five total connections. And my new data source connection has zero and zero because I've just added it. Now, when you do add the same data source in two different ways, because you want one to have different actions applied to it than, than the original, I do recommend you coming and renaming and saying copy of wildfire snapshot, just so that when you are going around and configuring your new, it moved up here because this it's in alphabetical order. So now my second data source connection has a different name, which helps me identify it more clearly when I am trying to configure specific actions within widgets that are now going to utilize this connection 